took me three months to do the course. And once I did, it all went very smoothly and got that offer letter in about four months since I started. What's happening guys, it's Shane here. And in today's video, I am going to be interviewing Ben. So Ben basically started off as a janitor and he wanted to get into a job where he had a lot more vertical growth because you know, being a janitor, you're probably not gonna be able to make too much more if you stay in that for the rest of your life. So he wanted to get himself into an in-demand career where there would be a lot of vertical and horizontal growth opportunities. And this is when he discovered tech sales and he was able to get a job without any previous experience or a college degree. Now, Ben's story is honestly really awesome and inspiring. He went from janitor to having a really promising career in tech sales and he was able to do it in a very short amount of time. So I really think you're gonna love this one. Go ahead, gently tap that like button let's aim for 500 likes on this video and let's jump into it right now welcome back to the channel guys today i have a very special guest on the channel ben is with us ben is a sales development representative and he has one of the coolest stories i've heard i'm actually really excited uh to have him share his story today so thank you so much for coming on the channel ben thanks for having me all right so let's get into this right away basically uh this is going to be about how you got into tech sales so let's start at the very beginning before you even discovered tech sales uh just kind of let me know uh what your your professional life was like and you know you can share as many details as you want but just kind of paint the picture of, of what your professional life was like right before you discovered tech sales. Sure. So um, right before I was in tech sales, I was a janitor, actually. And uh, before that, I had, well, right when I got out of high school, I was trying to start businesses left and right. I think I've started about eight businesses. Um, all of them have completely failed. <laughs> and uh, eventually I recognized that it was because I had zero skills, zero capital. And um, I was raising the bar like so high, right? I wanted to be a millionaire by yesterday. And I got the opportunity to listen to things while I was working. So I listened to a lot of self-help books and stuff like that. And uh, eventually I stumbled across tech sales, uh, probably through TikTok or something like that. And it really, uh, it really shined like in my eyes because a light bulb went off in my head where I realized, oh, I'm not, I'm not making any success in any of my business ventures because I have no skills or capital. And uh, tech sales allowed me to lower the bar for myself and develop a sales skill and actually build up capital to use and, you know, I guess being a not not an entitled child anymore. <laughs> Got it. And then just a few quick questions. Um, first of all, how old were you at the time when you discovered uh, tech sales? I was 24 years old. Got it. And then the second question is, did you ever go to college or did you ever like try to go to college? And uh, if not, um, kind of explain what your thought process there was? Yeah, so I definitely did try to go to college. Um, I went for about two semesters, two different colleges. Um, both of them were gen eds. And when I, uh, when I took them, there were a bunch of stuff that I'd already learned before. And I was not learning anything that I wanted to learn. And so I, I just figured, you know, this isn't for me. I can learn this somewhere else and not spend six years for a piece of paper that says that I learned it. Yeah, when you're, when they're charging like a thousand, two thousand dollars per class, it's like, and then you're learning stuff you already learned in high school and you're forced to take those classes, even though you don't want to take them. Yeah, that yeah. can definitely be pretty, uh, pretty frustrating. And yeah, yeah. one thing uh, Troy, uh, Troy actually told me about this, this stat, and that was in Switzerland, college is actually free and only 20 to 25 percent of people choose to go to college, whereas in the United States, college costs on average about $80,000 and people go on average about $40,000 in debt. Uh, and it takes like four to five years. Uh, and yet 70% of people choose to go to college in the US. So we've got this really, really weird cult psychology thing going on here where we think that college is the only way you can get educated, which is just not true because there's many other countries out there where people get educated in many other ways, whether it's you know learning online, you know, this is the modern age, or it's like an apprenticeship, internship, et cetera. There's many different ways to get educated other than college. College definitely has its place, don't get me wrong, but there are many situations and many different people who probably would be better served taking a different route to get into certain careers. 
And sales development representative, business development representative, tech sales is one of those careers that I highly recommend to people who choose to not go to college or to people who did go to college, but they didn't like it or they got a degree that's not really helping them out or they're in a career that they don't like and they want to transition into something, but they don't have any experience. So with that being said, how did you discover uh, tech sales? Uh, walk me through that story. Yeah, so I think, like I said, I think it was something to do with TikTok or social media. Um, there was a point where maybe it was like 20, I was trying to find jobs that didn't require college. And I think I stumbled upon it then. Um, but then later on, it was it was definitely TikTok. I saw people working remotely from you know, South America or something like that. And uh, a lot of them said they were in tech sales. And then you have people who are like account executives in the enterprise level making quite a lot of money. <laughs> and I saw a couple of videos of uh, them too. And so that kind of sparked my interest in uh, one tech sales and then two having a remote job and uh that that full package kind of came with course careers got it so you found course careers uh maybe through TikTok or, or google or blogs or something along those lines uh you decided to take the plunge and actually uh, use course careers as a service uh, what was the uh, curriculum and course careers and everything like let me know about that yeah so uh at first they have you read three books, um, how to win friends and influence people, just like a total staple when it comes to this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, fanatical prospecting and spin selling, which uh, are also staples in sales. But then they, they kind of go into uh, different um, terms and vocabulary that's very often used. And uh, you go through different technologies that's used. They're uh, like hour long courses for a couple of technologies that you're gonna see very commonly in the industry. Um, and then there's a level of practicing some of the things that you read about in some of the books and uh, practicing the knowledge that you learned in the course later on. Throughout it, you're also trying to build up your LinkedIn profile and uh, getting used to interviewing questions and researching um, companies and stuff like that. Got it. Okay. So how long did it take you to get a job from when you started the course to when you uh, signed the offer letter? Or, or actually, I guess when you got your job offer, because you might have gotten several job offers and then you decided to accept one later on. Yeah, I, uh, I would say it was about four months. It took me three months to do the course and then an extra month because my LinkedIn profile wasn't quite where it needed to be. And I had to do some more interview prep before uh, I was ready to reach out to companies. And once I did, it all went very smoothly and got that offer letter in about four months since I started. So what is your current job like now compared to your past job? Yeah, so my past job was, like I said, it was just a janitor. Um, nothing special. There wasn't much thinking involved. It was a very laid back, very easy job. Um, but, you know, I mean, the pay was nice. I was still making more than any of my friends. It was about 40000 a year. But uh, now... I, you know, I work from home, which is great. Um, I work for a company called Dun & Bradstreet, which is a very big conglomerate. They're involved in just about every business ever. And uh, it, it's really cool being a part of a huge company like that. There's plenty of benefits, which I've never had before. And uh, making more than double that now than my previous job. <laughs> all right. So, all right, let, let's talk money. Hey, listen, if, if you're not comfortable telling me the exact numbers, totally understand. I don't want to be too nosy but if you're not comfortable telling me the exact numbers, uh, maybe just kind of let the audience know, just ballpark what they could expect uh, in kind of like an entry level job in tech sales. Yeah, so I think a good expectation would be fifty-five to sixty thousand dollars a year. Um, I make a fifty k base with thirty k commission, so I make eighty a year as long as I hit quota, and um, I that's definitely realistic. Uh, the thing is, is that I'm in that higher paid position because I'm willing to do the the outbound and the outreach and uh, and the calls and all that stuff to make sure that I can, you know, a higher value asset to the company. 
but I think a very realistic goal would be 60,000, um, you know, and that's within four months of, of four or five months of starting the course. <laughs> so 60,000 is, is amazing. Um, 80,000 is even better. That's awesome. Congratulations. And then by the way, how long ha uh, have you been working for Dun & Bradstreet? So this is still my first month. Um, when I got my first job, it, it was kind of strange. They had kind of, they canceled their internship program. And then I actually worked with Course Careers for a month while I was transitioning to Dun & Bradstreet. And yeah, I think that was your question. <laughs> oh, got it. So you actually did land an internship before you started with uh, Dun & Bradstreet? Yes. Oh, okay, got it, got it, okay. Awesome. So that was that the internship that you landed at the the four month mark, or was that uh, earlier yeah. on? Four month. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Makes sense. Yeah. And to get an idea, so within three months, I've had three SDR jobs, <laughs> and um, two of them were a one hundred percent interview to job offer rate. Wow. Yeah. And I would totally put all of that on just the interview prep that I was able to do with Troy, the owner of Course Careers, and uh, some of the students that were in there, and uh, just how much effort I put into making sure I was good with the interviews. There's a lot of careers out there where like the average percentage in terms of like how many resumes you send out to these companies versus how many job offers you get is something like one or 2%, you know, sometimes even less than that. There's a lot of careers. So when we're talking like, you know, 80, hundred percent for when you send your resume in, I mean, that just shows you how, like that there's just a ridiculous amount of demand uh, for these positions. Huge market. For sure. yeah. yeah. You mentioned that you started a lot of businesses and I was the same way. I started so many businesses in high school and college. I tried everything. I had, you know, limited success here and there, but nothing that you could really scale. It, it basically would have yeah. just been a business that's like a job, but I learned a lot from it. So, you know, uh, definitely, you know, I'm happy that I did it. But do you think the skills you're learning right now um, in tech sales, if you do decide to start a business in the future, are going to help you out? Oh, I mean, undeniably. I think sales in general gives you a confidence and the skill to take with you in any area of your life. Um, just talking with people, interviewing, you know, getting a date. I mean, there's all kinds of applications for a sales skill. Um, but actually like finding leads and understanding how to reach out to them and getting that first sale is just invaluable when it comes to a business. And it's a skill and knowledge that I didn't have before. All right. Well, hey, Ben, thank you so much for coming on the channel again and uh, sharing your story. Really awesome how you were able to transition into a career that has just so much uh, potential and, you know, the sky's the limit for you now. And and I really think you're going to do well in the career. And it, later on, if you want to start out a business, I think you're going to have a very good chance of being successful there as well. So uh, thank you so much again for coming on the channel. Thank you so much for having me, Shane.